You know, I really, really, really hate trains. Like, stop, stop it. Stop it. No trains. Da no, I'm trying to do... I want to do a recording today. I, I have a top five to do. Stop it. I have a top five to do. Okay, so before this video starts, I just want to go ahead and say any of the pictures that are seen in my video, I do not own them, so please, please stop. This is, you know, a thing. Also, this has maybe some Pokemon Moon slash Sun warnings, so if you don't want to be spoiled, you've been warned. Look at my face. I, I, I actually just don't care. So, with further ado, shall, shall I get into this, you know, uh, thing that's going on? Hello, Internet! I am Brynn the Isaacan Demon, and today we're doing a top 5 favorite alone Pokemon from Gen 7 Sun and Moon, yeah. However, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Yes, I've already beat the game, and also I just want to say that this is my personal top 5 of Alohan Pokemon, not Alohan Gen 1 Pokemon, so if you're a little bit upset that I didn't do... Gen 1 Alohan forms, I will do a top 5 on that. I felt like there wasn't really a lot of Pokemon, so I didn't really want to do a top 10. And I was like, I'll just do a top 5 on it. Considering I've done beat the game, and it's just like, yeah, Pokemon, yeah. Look at my face, I'm so happy. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, like I said, this, this is my list. So, let's start off with number 5. Toxapex. Honestly, I just want to say real quick, look at Tox Effects. Look, look at this guy. Oh, wow. This Pokemon is cool, but creepy. Like how, you know, it's Dex Entry talks about how it crawls along the ocean floor looking. <laughs> look, pretty much leaving a trail of course a little bit. Not going to lie, that's pre pre pretty, pretty freaking creepy. N not to mention, you know, it's, it's a water poison type. Uh, which which does it justice, honestly. Now, now if only I could actually catch a Marini, which is like the littler form of it. Honestly, I wish I could find it. I've looked for it. I came close. I was told I had to get a Corsola to be, you know, SOSing this. For those who don't know, SOSing in Pokemon Sun and Moon is where when a Pokemon shows up and it cries out for help and then you... You know, it could be like a random Pokemon, like for example, if Cubone's there and he cries out for help and Kangaskong shows up because, you know, it's his mom. I went there. Anyway, guys, I honestly just like Toxapex. I mean, for a Pokemon to be creepy and for Corsola to actually have an enemy, I like it. I feel like Corsola needed to come back and I like that Corsola, you know, has the branches and they used to break off, I believe, in uh, second gen when Corsola was introduced. I think it was second gen. Oh wow, there's so many Pokemon. Uh, uh, go to number four. Go to number four. Number four is Rock Rough because you know what? You you have to get a little rough with this cute, adorable rock Pokemon. And I know that my computer just messed up and it said no to how I had it on the picture. So yeah. Anyway, Rock Rough is a rock type Pokemon. It honestly it had me when I seen. It, uh, hell, it, it reminds me of my dog, Brownie. That, and, uh, and I love how its ears look for some reason. I have a problem with dog ears. Look, look, look for some reason, <laughs> oh, I always pet animals' ears, even when I play Pokemon. Plus, just look, look at it. You know it is going to be awesome. Uh, sadly, it is not on my team. I I couldn't throw it into battle. I mean, Rockruff, you're you're too flip a dip and adorable. Just get get out of here. Stop it. Uh, I couldn't even put him on my team. Go, just go to number three. Number three is Decidueye. I really hope I didn't butcher his name because I have a problem with butchering Pokemon's names, and I'm actually going to try to fix this real quick so that way. You can kind of see this awesome picture made by this guy down here. Sadly, I didn't ask for permission, but hey, whatever. You know, Decidueye is just this epic grass ghost type Pokemon. It is just, you know, it's kind of like a shady assassin owl, which is why I like it, honestly. it it's It's not even, you know, a flying type, which is crazy. If it's an owl, right? I, I think I'm right. This, this thing can... You know, it can fire arrow queer. It can, okay, pretty much it can fire its 
arrow or its quills as arrows from like over a hundred yards. I mean, come on, guys, just just say yes, say yes to the assassin, you know, bird of shadiness, you know. And look at it. Plus, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. He kind of reminds me. Oh, I got too close to the mic there. He kind of reminds me of a Digimon. Uh, a lot of you probably won't know. I'm not even going to throw up a picture because, I mean, I might get in trouble for just doing that or mentioning that. But kind of reminds me of a Digimon. And honestly, I just like the fact that he's like a shady assassin, assassin owl. Like, could you could we just like throw up pictures of, you know, the new assassin movie coming out, but it's like Decidueye? That, that would be cool. Number two, let's talk about the Pikachu that's not actually a Pikachu. Let's talk about a Mimikyu. Yes, I absolutely fell in love with Mimikyu. Sadly, I don't use Mimikyu on my team yet. I'm thinking about it. I really, really should consider adding Mimikyu to my team. Mostly due to the fact that, one, it's just fucking awesome. Plus, its a, its actual appearance is actually quite unknown. I mean, obviously you can tell right there. You can see its face. You can see its tail, uh, and you can see its little hand trying to get the apple there. That's kind of obvious. But uh, not to mention that it wears rags that look like Pikachu. Okay, okay, Mimikyu is is epic Pokemon. Let's let's borderline. You know, I I just like the way it looks, or I guess the how its disguise looks uh, anyway anyway it's a ghost type pokemon or a ghost fairy type pokemon which is cool not i mean not even a normal a fighting or a dragon type can hurt him i mean unless you got like an item that can help it but even then it's not as as effective and if you do get a hit on it it's ability disguise which it has a d ability called disguise it will take the first hit, no damage to the Pokemon. Also, I just want to state, hashtag love out for Mimikyu, you know. Uh, heart, heart's out for Mimikyu. I love you, Mimikyu. It's, it's just such a good Pokemon. A ghost fairy type, guys. It can't be affected by three other typings. I like it. I like it a lot. On to number one, shall we? I wonder what my number one favorite Pokemon in Aloha is. Whoa, this is scary. Okay, guys. This is going to be kind of an obvious one, only because of the fact that, you know, I really, really, really like this Pokemon. <sighs> I, I had to, guys. You have no idea how much I fell in love with this Pokemon as soon as I seen it. Like, it's unfathomable. unfathomable. Mimic, or not Mimikyu, but, uh, oh well, that was a, that was a different spot earlier. Uh, Flomantis and Lurantis, L oh my god, pajama pants, though. No. Okay, so, these two Pokemon are just amazing. Granted that they're weakness to a lot of other Pokemon, uh, when when I was playing Pokemon Moon, I seen this Pokemon Flomantis. It it caught I caught it just right right off the bat. Flomantis is so fluff and cute, and I mean it is like when I seen Flomantis, I was like Jesus fluff a duff in Christ. You are adorable. I want to catch you. I want to name you. I named mine Mavis off a of fairy tale. That's a little bit obvious. Uh, not to mention pajama, pa, pa, pajama pants, uh, Lorantis. It, it can fire beams from its damn petals. You you see the petals on its arm and its back. It can fire beams from those guys. What? By the way, these beams can cut through you know metal. So hell's yeah. Plus, I I, I like the way its eyes look. I mean, cool. Don't 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 don't, don't judge me. I like the way its eyes look. Anyway, guys, that was my uh, top five favorite Gen 7 Alohan Pokemon uh, from Aloha. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and it would really help if you hit that like and subscribe button to help me out. Granted, I still don't have internet, so if you don't hear from me from a while, that's probably why. I 
thank you guys for actually taking the time to watch my videos if you are i noticed that my subscriber rate has gone up so thank you